It's a big difference. Geraldine's way above on ratings. Dewhurst winner. Will he confirm himself the leading British trained three year old to go to war with in the Colts Classic? We'll find out with Ian. They're off. Seven furlongs is the chip. And he's Chaldean has unseated Frankie at the start. Chaldean ducked left and Frankie de Tori is sat on the ground at the start as the favourite runs loose at the head of the field. As Isaac Shelby towards the right is the first one to show up. The Riddler and Zoology with those on the left is Gray's Monument who's tracked by Knight and with him is Classic. Wiltshire towards the back of the field in company with the theory of everything and Streets of Gold behind those. They're heading down to the halfway stage in this watership down Greenham Stake preceded by a loose favourite Chaldine so the running is being made by Isaac Shelby the blue sleeve jacket for Sean Levy to Zoology with Zoology as Charon the light blue and grey colours uh, then comes Grey's Monument towards the left and these are being followed through by Knight on the extreme left in the black and yellow striped jacket the theory of everything on the right trying to get into contention Streets of Gold and Wiltshire behind those are inside the last quarter mile and it's Isaac Shelby Shelby has the lead of just over a length. Charin is in second position, trying to get closer. Behind those is Zoology, the theory of everything, and Wiltshire. But inside the final furlong, it is Isaac Shelby, well clear of his rivals, only just clear of the loose Chaldean. But it is Isaac Shelby and Sean Levy who win. Charin in second. There's a very big gap to the theory of everything in third. Then Zoology and Wiltshire and Streets of Gold and Knight. Behind Knight uh, was great. Monument and still coming, Classic and the Riddler. Isaac Shelby, your second Classic trial victory in a in a week. Uh, all the drama at the start. Did you have any idea what had happened? I didn't. You know, I, I, I'd I'd imagined that Frankie was, was going to be making the running, and I was just drawn on the wing a bit, looking for cover. At the same time, going forward, doing my own thing. And when, the, when the loose one came by me, it lit him up. So I ran basically the majority of the race. Very keen. And did you know who the loose one was by that? Well, at that stage, yeah. I was. I had a trail on him, and I was following him the whole way to the line. I just thought we'd done maybe too much getting up to the furlong marker, but nothing, not, nothing showed up. Your horse was quite a, a strong market mover today. There was clearly confidence behind his chance. We spoke on the phone the other day. You were hopeful of a big run, but could you have expected anything quite like that? It was emphatic in the end. Look, I rode him a while back in Lingfield a few months ago, and he, he definitely felt as though he had retained his ability. But at the same time, I would have liked to see him improve that a little bit more. Do you know? Um, he's definitely showed today that he did improve. So. so he surprised you a little bit? Yes, he has. and It's, it's a good surprise. Now, it's softish ground today, quite holding ground, but his form last year was on a, on a sound surface in the main. What does he want? I would say a sound surface. He's a good moving horse, really strong traveller, and he stays well. You know, a combination of travelling quite strong in that ground today. I think maybe her horse has found it a little bit harder to pick him up, but um, he's definitely handled the surface today that he, 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 he wouldn't normally. And he looks to have quite a sound mind. Very much so. Um, like I said, I, everything was perfect until the lead horse took kind of went past me. I mean, sorry, the loose one went past me, and it just lit me. He got competitive way earlier than I'd like him to. You know, in an ideal world, you like to get a little bit of cover and, and just maybe do things a little bit more settled early doors. You know. Well done, Sean. Cheers. <laughs> well, a dramatic race to say the very least. It was. It was. It definitely was. And uh, you know, we were all gutted for Frankie and the Judmont team and you know obviously hope Frankie's all right I hadn't seen but look, we were absolutely delighted with the horse he was humming before he came here and we're just delighted he got to show that on the track today yeah there was quite a bit of confidence behind him as I said to Sean in the market but he said he'd ridden him at Lingfield and thought he needed to do a, a fair bit more than he'd shown him that day yeah absolutely I mean Sean kind of got off and reported that you know he just felt like you know there's other horses that are going to be in the race that are bigger bigger frame than him and you know he's always been that kind of light framed horse but you know for us it was all about what he was doing at home and you know the way he came out of that trial gave us so much confidence coming into today and he's a horse now who, who you can you can look forward to hopefully a productive season with you look at the, the shape of the guineas now where do you see him in that pecking order in your own mind look he's, he's in the French guineas uh, not the English so and you wouldn't um, think of a supplementary I have to speak to the owners um, but uh, Look, I think the plan would, would, has always been to go to the French. Look, he loved the ground here today. It could be similar over at Longchamp, so, um, you know, we're, we're happy to go there, I think. So you do think soft ground would be, would be in his favour? I think it would be, yeah. I think the way he handled it today, um, you know, Knight of Thunder's a pretty versatile, and I don't see it being a problem over there, yeah.
when was the last time the Sangster Colours were in the in the green and winners enclosure? <laughs> That's a good question. I have to go back through the record. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have the ready answer, which I should have. Uh, yeah, but look, I'm, I'm so delighted for Brian and all the team at home. They put a lot of work into this horse, and uh, obviously we had a bit of disappointment in the Dewhurst when we we were really confident of of his future, and you know I'm just got a lot of support behind the owners here all here today so i'm just really really happy for everyone involved with the horse well done, sam thanks very much subscribe to racing tv's youtube channel now to watch more great races like this